how to unreconcile a transaction that you have already reconciled in FreshBooks. This video will be short and sweet. There are a lot of folks in my office hours who have asked this specific little question about this workflow, so I thought it was time to make a video about it. All right, let's dive in. So you should already know how to reconcile things because you have to do that before you can unreconcile. But just in case you didn't know, you go to accounting, you hit the middle section, it might say zero and it might be black, but you can still get into the bank rec feature. That's what I call this, this is like the bank rec home screen. And just to refresh, these are all the transactions that have come in from your bank account that have not been reconciled to these transactions that are sitting in FreshBooks. So to unreconcile, we're gonna come from unmatched and we're gonna to toggle over to matched. So this is how we'll do it. If we made a mistake and we want to do these three, you can do as many as you want, you can click unmatch transaction. And all that's gonna do is it's gonna boot them out to over here. If you click this top button, you can get all the ones on this page. So let's talk about some common reasons you're gonna to want to do this. Maybe it's because you've watched a bunch of my FreshBooks videos and you realize that you've classified your credit card payments as expenses. <laughs> Don't do that. Uh, maybe you realize you put your owner's draws on your profit and loss statement too as an expense as well. Or another common reason is, as an example, you went into your bank reconciliation screen and you started to navigate to, to reconcile your accounts and you get this pop-up saying we found matches for your accounts and you need to always be hitting skip. This is an unhelpful thing. At least it's unhelpful to accept without thinking. If you have a bunch and you're really working through like a big effort of, of transactions that you haven't done for a long time, if you go one by one, unclick the box and go one by one, but both of these are like, this, sorry, this is an example of a transfer. It is not a expense, but FreshBooks always starts any money out as an expense. And it's just, it's always, it's always going to be wrong. And so if, if, if any of these are wrong at all, which is likely going to happen, that means you can never use this. So you have to hit skip. That might be a reason why you need to unreconcile. Y'all, I'm recording this video in February, 2023. I will soon be making a full deep dive video into all you need to know about bank reconciliation. I did a private video as a live recording for my office hours group. Um, if you're desperate to get a video about a full deep dive into bank reconciliation, uh, reach out and let me know and we might see if office hours is a good fit for you. I'm gonna try really hard to get a full video tutorial soon. So be sure to search the channel and use the little magnifying glass if you're watching this after February, 2023 search the word reconciliation and be sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not because then you'll get it as soon as it comes out and can i say how glad i am that you're watching this particular video because that means you are trying to reconcile your bank account if you're on the hunt for something that you want to unreconcile and so i'm not sure if your books are wrong but i am sure that people who don't reconcile their books have incorrect bookkeeping 100 percent of the time so at least you have a shot at having accurate books because you are reconciling your account if you would like a diagnostic review of your account or some additional help with your fresh books, or would like to join my office hours to ask your questions, you can reach out to me and we can discuss it. And there's a link to sign up for the free monthly office hours below that I do. All right, I'll wrap this up. I'm Kate Josephine Johnson and I help businesses build their business legacy.